Wow, you welcome to my channel, and I would like you guys to click on the subscription button, <laughs> click on the notification bell, click on the like, and also make sure you comment, share also, share. let me not forget that. Now, this, I'm so excited about this, and um, it's going to be a journey, yes, because after this journey, we are going to enter into, I, I like to talk about it before you start getting videos on it, freedom yes freedom um from addiction yes freedom from addiction so addiction is actually slavery and i'm coming up with a video book and it's titled freedom from addiction so you guys will love it you guys will love it look out for it but right now we are looking at 20 things every female must know a letter to my daughter now so that's what we'll be looking at right now and um, as i said it will be in parts so as you're watching this right now make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so that when the second part comes up you will be the first to know and even other materials other contents that you know I'll be coming up with you guys will be the first to know so make sure you do that so we'll go straight into this is actually a book but it is not a conventional book what you used to know about books <laughs> yes yes so this is a different type of book so I'm taking you through a journey and trust me you will love it so 20 things every female must no, a letter to my daughter. So let's go straight up to the first. Wow. So the first one is um, principle of body contact. Principle of body contact. I'll do my best not to waste so much time or use so much time to speak because some of these points are self-explanatory so i'll do my best to be very fast with these points because it's a journey as i said 20 of them 20 things every female must know so the first one is principle of body contact now every girl every female has to be wary of this after you you have to be careful when it comes to your body having contact with a male yes <laughs> yes 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 because we are looking at the relationship between the man and a woman is actually a mystery bible calls it a mystery yes yes a man and a woman yes is a mystery now i'm not talking about your cousin i'm not talking about your relative i'm talking about just a man that maybe you're close to an acquaintance it does not matter yes but any man at all that is not related to you <laughs> blood wise yes let me put it that way so yeah, so every girl has to be careful with when it comes to body contact so ensure to be safe yes you need to avoid body contact yes to be safe Maybe in this, you are sitting down in a bus, maybe somewhere, anywhere you find yourself. Just be careful. Obey this principle. This principle is the, the moment your body is in contact with a man, something begins to happen. Something that you will not like. Something sexual. So sometimes some men might not react That's the, how will I put it now? sometimes the reaction might differ yes it's relative actually so men might react immediately some might not yes what i mean react i mean the reaction you don't see within the man yes <laughs> some might happen immediately some might take time 
especially when that man is not related to you. So as a woman, as a female, make sure you obey this rule. Avoid it as much as you can. I know sometimes in a bus, everywhere is jam-packed, you know, and all that. People are sitting close, so you cannot avoid it. No problem. If it's, if it's unavoidable, no problem. But if it's something you can avoid, like you are in a queue in a bank and you see a man in front of you and behind you, wow, at that point you can avoid it. You can, you can just politely tell the man, can you just give me a little bit of space? Yes. So don't be careless. Don't be ignorant. Don't just be there, naive, and the man's body is all over you, both behind and the one in front of you. So, you have a man in front of you, and you have a man behind you in a queue, and you're just ignorant. To you, it's nothing. No, my friend. You know, one of the reasons I had to do this video is to bring a lot of ladies, a lot of girls, a lot of women to the knowledge of things that go on in a man yes that they don't know you might not know yes there are some so many things about men that you don't know you need to have this knowledge so that you can be extra careful this is how you avoid you know men having wrong impressions about you this is how you avoid rape situations this is how you avoid people coming you know to have a relationship with you just for one purpose to sleep with you to have sex with you for the wrong reasons people don't come you know because they like your personality people don't come because of who you are but because they are sexually attracted to you so you need to keep this principle to say to stay safe yes so without further ado I move to the next one, number two. Every man has a dog in him, the urge for sex. And that dog is the urge for sex. Now, this is key. I won't say much about it. I will just move to the next point. <laughs> now, before I, now, before I move to the next point, please check the description because I need to pay some bills. Yes, check the description. You will see. Some links that will lead you to Amazon for you to get a product or two so as you as you pay for those products and you get them I get my commission and I get some funds to do what I'm doing right now so you guys should just encourage me to do that so go to Amazon follow my links and make sure you get a product one of them trust me you love them every product on my description is something my viewers will love <laughs> so make sure you go and make sure you purchase those products so that I can get my commission. So we move to number three. Sorry, I have to, I have to pay some bills, you know, very importantly. We'll be doing that in the course of this video. Yes, there are so many bills we need to pay, you know, because we need money to fund what we are doing. Okay, so number three is the danger and implications of indecent dressing. Yes, so somewhere in this um slide you find what, what i call the prey and the predator yes you know a lot of persons are nonchalant when it comes to their dressing yes they are nonchalant they don't know the implications they don't know it's dangerous to be seductive as a girl as a female it's dangerous to be seductive yes you're getting the attention fine attentions fine fine but what kind of attention? Have you asked yourself, okay, what kind of attention am I getting? So, it's dangerous, it has implications. When you dress indecently, number one, you attract, you attract the wrong guys. The guys that will come to say, ah, the only reason they are attracted to you is your body. They just want to have sex with you. Now, number two, you attract rapists, people that, what they do is to rape people, yes, and to sexually molest young girls or women generally so do you want those kind of guys then thirdly you lose your value people just see see you especially guys what they see is a sex object a sex tool a sex door a sex image you're just a pornographic picture is that what you want to become yes i told you i'm trying to give you an insight of what the guys think a perspective 
from the man's angle, from the male figure. Yet, what do they think about you? That's the perspective I'm giving you. Seeing through the eyes of a man. You need to see through the eyes of a man as a woman, as a female, as a girl, as a young girl. This is, as I said, is a letter to my daughter. But all the ladies, all the females around the world, they need to get this information. It's important. It's applicable to the ladies, to the females in Nigeria, in Uganda, in South Africa, in America, in the UK, in Asia, in Iraq, wherever you are, in Canada, it does not matter, in Brazil, anywhere you are around the world, the moment you're a female, please and please, you need some of these points, yes. And truly, um, I'll, I'll do my best to make sure this particular video is translated you know to other you know languages like the french you know and all that dutch and all that so chinese different languages so that people can relate to this and people can understand what's going on so i'll do that yes yeah, so my viewers that are not english you know that that don't speak english english language yes i'll do that for them so moving on to number four now what is number four the five delicate parts of a female body now those delicate parts now in the i'll come back to this but i have a slide to show you guys now look at this there are different parts of the female body i call them the five delicate parts of a female body this one these two these three behind that's the all of the deal of the female back then the belly the th thighs and all that now these are the five delicate parts of all a female body and here I said that must be covered now you can also look at this please note if you are you are naked the moment you expose sorry for that you are naked the moment you, you expose th these five parts of the body as a female so take note of this if you're a mother please pass this knowledge to your female children yes or your relatives that are girls and that are ladies very important these are five delicate parts dangerous parts now in the previous slide you can see in bracket what, what i wrote here which is domain of lost signals it's not your fault yes these are sexual parts these are parts that have some lost signals some some abilities to arouse a man it's not your fault you're created that way the flesh in itself <laughs> is earthly there's nothing holy about the flesh of a human. God made it that way. So the only thing that the Bible recommends is for you to subdue the flesh. But you can't destroy it until rapture comes. Because during rapture, that's when this our physical body will be translated into a celestial body. So for now that we are putting on this physical body, it has some sexual stuff that is only appropriate appropriate for married people but if you're not married then anything about this flesh it is not only at all anything about the flesh that has to do with sex sex sexuality you know it's dirty anything about it is dirty if you're not married anything sexual about the body is filthy it's un only unholy, it's ungodly for those that are single. But if you're married, that's when your sexual orgies, you know, anything you do around sex, then because you're married and you're doing it with your wife or your husband, then it can be termed holy. Yes. So let's look at that. So domain of lost signals that must be covered. So I won't dwell too much on that. So, um, um, just look at those points. You can pause, rewind, you know, and just take your time. Look at this. You can even screen, screen shoot this particular picture and show it to your female relatives, children, siblings, and all that. So that's that. Okay, and even your female fo followers. Yeah, because I know there are some women some men that have female followers so you can pass this information to them 
So let's move on to the next, which is number five. And number five brings us to the end of the first episode. Yes, it brings us to the end of the first episode. So from number six, it will be it will be the beginning, yes, of episode two and all that. So look out for episode two, please and feel please. So for now, we are going to stop here, which is lost signals awaken the dog in men. Lost signals awaken the dog in men. You know, there is a particular slide I talked about the dog in men. Don't forget. And what it means, it means the urge for sex. Yes, every man has the urge for sex. Every man that is alive, <laughs> that, that does not have a problem health-wise. The man is healthy, he doesn't have any health problem. Then that man must have the, the hodge for sex. And this is not to, you know, slight men. Yes, every man that has a hodge for sex is healthy. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's how you control it, how you use it, that matters. So God made it this way. Yeah. So that's where self control comes in and all that. Where you control it till you get married, you, you abstain from immorality, from sex, and all that. And all that. That's how you make God happy. But if you don't have control over it, you start misbehaving, start messing around, sleeping with different girls, sleeping around, committing fornication everywhere. And you do everything that is related to sex in a in a very ungodly manner. So if you don't want to do that, let's go back to number five. For the ladies, lost signals are waking the dog. Amen. So where are these lost? Don't forget where where are these lost signals? Where are they located? Number four, I told you those five delicate parts of the female body so these are where that's why this particular picture is very important for girls for ladies for all the females around the world these are where the five these are where the lost signals are located these five delicate parts of the female body so take note of this part and, and, and funny enough the devil understands these th truths yes he understands it and what he does, he uses his instruments because a human being can be an instrument of the devil. So what the devil does with young girls or females generally, not everyone though, but those that are, you know, um, how would I put it, that are intentional about seducing men, sometimes they might not be intentional, sometimes they do it unknowingly. Some do it unknowingly and some do it knowingly. They are all instruments of the devil. Yes, the devil uses this, these young girls to do this. He ensures that they expose these five delicate, delicate parts, which is the armpit, the cleavage, the belly, the thighs, the back region, and all that. So the devil ensures that these parts are exposed. Why? Because look at what number five is saying. Lost signals. released from those five parts so that the dog in a man can the dog in a man can be woken up yes to make sure that the dog in a man wakes up that is a that is the aim the aim of the devil the devil uses the strategy to bring great men down and don't be an instrument as a woman don't be an instrument of the devil and that's why this knowledge is coming to you because sometimes some girls do this unconsciously and at the end of the day a lot of men are brought down to a piece of bread because they lost it after them and at the end of the day the ladies will say they don't know about it because they never did that inten intentionally so you don't need to know about it these things happen and whether you are you, you do it knowingly or unknowingly even when you're ignorant just know ignorance is not an, ex an excuse you've just you've just been used by the devil the moment you, you yes you expose your body parts 
Just know as a lady that you've just been used by the devil. The devil has just used you as a tool. So the question is, do you want to be a tool in the hands of the devil? Or you want to be a tool in the hands of God? So, but the point is, these delegate parts should be covered very importantly. Yes, they should be covered. So my recommendation is from here. Mm -hmm. Look at what I'm doing from here so that your armpit doesn't show. Then here, the lines, which is your cleavage, should be covered. Then your belly, make sure any dress you're wearing, any clothes you're wearing, you cover your belly, your thighs. I know in this current generation, a lot of skirts that women buy, uh, when they sit down, their thighs are being exposed. It's unavoidable. It's something they cannot avoid. But you can consciously, you know, go for a skirt that covers your thighs. And when you sit down, you can consciously sit down and make sure you don't expose your thighs. So, as I said, these parts must be covered. And you must intentionally do it. Yes. You, as a lady, must intentionally cover these parts. Wow, these are truth difficult. I know it looks difficult, but I would like to say this your dressing must not make you look like an old woman. You can dress decently and look young and look fas fashionable, fashionable and look beautiful. Yes, I'm not saying look outdated, look like an old woman. Dress in an awkward manner. No. Dress well. Look sharp. Look great. Look elegant. But make sure those parts are covered. Make sure you, what you're wearing is modern, is trendy, is fashionable. It looks good on you. But ensure that the five delicate parts are covered. Because you don't want any man to harass you sexually. You don't want any man to come after you, to be interested in you for the wrong reasons. So see you on the next episode. Yes, thank you so much.